Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Theo. And it's safe. We got this Shane Gillis live in Austin. Y'all been asking. Live in Austin. Live in Austin. Um, y'all been asking for this. Um, it's two things I like. I like Shane Gillis' uh <laughs> his stand up. I like his I like him uh, being a comedian, you know, him as a comedian, all that stuff. And I would like to take my ass to Austin, Texas and eat some of this food. Yeah. That's all I can think yeah. of. I was like, where are you going with this? But yeah, definitely. <laughs> Y'all know him, Theo, king of the intros, king of the intros. Okay, ain't nobody be better. Ain't nobody better than me, bro. Here you go. Here you go. You always sneak this. No, I'm just telling the truth. Did we not? Bro, you sneak this. Let's go. Talking about no, just telling the truth. Okay, let's go. Thank you. I remember I was thinking missed. about the first time like Congress had to come up with age of consent. That had to be like the powdered wigs and stuff. That had to be a rough day for the fellas. It's like some guy coming up first, like from Rhode Island, twelve, and I was like, ew, <laughs> ew, <laughs> no, dude. I, I don't know why I have to go first on this one. It's like the hardest one to go first on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Just talking shit. Okay, no one did. Uh, the pre okay, that was the preview. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god. Is that vodka? Oh no. Is that bourbon? Oh my god. Is that whiskey? I think I drink whiskey. This sounds sick. This is exciting. I was a little too excited. I panicked and got this haircut. <laughs> what an, an insane fuck up. <laughs> My hair was fine. It was totally fine. And then two days ago, I was like, I gotta, I gotta salvage this. <laughs> it's crazy that I thought the hair, like my hair was, I was like, if I fix my hair, I'll look good. <laughs> like that was the final piece of the puzzle <laughs> for, for me. There's a Dominican barbershop by my house in New York. I think I'm the first white guy that's ever been in there. <laughs> I was basically Christopher Columbus of this barbershop. <laughs> and they fucked me up, dude. Don't get, if you're white, don't get a Dominican haircut. <laughs> you end up just looking more racist. <laughs> it was nice though, he kept trying to reassure me the whole time. He was like, no man, your head's good. <laughs> that's all he kept, <laughs> kept saying, your head's good. I was like, oh, thank you. Whatever, fuck this haircut. How are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's good. It's good, I'm happy. It's nice. Everybody's back inside, all that shit. I don't know, I had a good, I liked COVID. I had a nice time. I live in New York, so I left. I went back to my parents' house because I have white privilege. Some people didn't get to leave the city. I did because of my privilege. And I used it. I you gotta too. use it. You know what I mean? Doesn't it feel more disrespectful to waste it? I mean, yeah. You know what? Then we're all just being racist for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's good. I went home. My parents, I haven't lived with them in over 10 years. They got old. They're old as fuck. They have milk, though. I'm back on milk. I've been fucking crushing milk lately. I got fucking milk fat this year. It's a weird time in life to have a milk renaissance. It's 33. But it was nice. I think my favorite part of the year was I, uh, I got to watch my dad watch the news. It was a rough year for my dad <laughs> and the news. He's a Fox News guy. But don't, yeah, it's fine. Also, I see you guys. Most of you have Fox News dads. How dare you deny your fathers? That's a good dad. I don't watch Fox, but that's a good dad. Fox News mom? Uh, that's bad. <laughs> you don't want Fox News mom. That's a bad mom. She smokes in the house. But a Fox News dad, that's a good fucking dad. Can you imagine if you had a fucking MSNBC dad? Just some guy every night at dinner, like, we need to start focusing on renewable energy. It's like, 
like, ew, dude, I didn't know dad was gay. <laughs> Talking to me about solar panels like a fucking lady. Me and my dad are straight as hell, dude. We fucking hate the environment. That's how straight we are. All we talk about is eating pussy and fracking. We hate nature. We go fishing. We don't even eat fish, dude. We just catch them and fucking... <laughs> no, he's good. He likes Fox. He watches Fox. He watches it every night. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox every night until he can't. That's how long they watch. They watch every night until they get so angry they have to go to bed. My dad will watch for like two hours and then out of nowhere he'll just stand up and be like, fucking Mr. Potato Head's trance? I'm going to bed. <laughs> this world's going to hell. <laughs> He's all about it, dude. He loves it. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox with one goal. He's just trying to get one fact. That's all he's doing. He's sitting there, he's trying to retain one piece of information that he can then relay to whoever's unlucky enough to enter the living room <laughs> while he's watching. And you'd think it'd be easy to get one fact, but every once in a while there's like a commercial for like a commemorative 9-11 gold coin that just fucking wipes their hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> what was I watching? I gotta get one of those. I gotta get my hands on one of those patriotic oh, coins. <laughs> oh, I used to collect them. <laughs> my dad drinks too, so he can never, he can never get a fact, ever. <laughs> You'll come in the living room. We'll be ha he's hammered watching the news every night, which is the wildest way to take in world politics. <laughs> like just. Hammered on a in a recliner, like whoa! <laughs> it's like footage of rocket attacks in Israel. He's like, whoa! <laughs> hey, big boy! What the hell are they doing over there? <laughs> What's these guys' problem? <laughs> but he can never get a fact. Like he tries. He tries. He, say, he, he uses Fox News as like a PowerPoint for what he's trying to say. Like everyone, like we'll be eating dinner and like Hannity will be saying something. He's like, see, that, that's what I meant. <laughs> Look at that. That's me talking. I can't say it that good. <laughs> he can never get a fact. You'll walk in the living room. He's been watching the news for three hours. You'll be like, all right, what's going on in the world? He's like, you want to know? <laughs> I'll tell you. Fucking Nancy Pelosi's a bitch. <laughs> like, all, right. all right, settle down, dude. So that was the news last. That's the news every night for my dad. They're just like breaking. Did you know Nancy Pelosi's a bitch? <laughs> my dad's like, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> but like everything they say, he agrees with. He's all in. I realize like Fox News is basically black church for old white dudes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, literally everything they say, my dad just sits there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, preach, Tucker. <laughs> Every once in a while, he gets hit with the Holy Spirit while he's watching it. The Holy Ghost visits him. He's just like, oh, Lord, build a wall. <laughs> Can I get a wall? <laughs> he needs a wall. My dad needs a wall. For a guy who lives in central Pennsylvania, <laughs> securing the southern border is like oddly important to him. Top priority. I don't know what he's worried about. Like he's gonna lose his job? You know, like some guy from Honduras is gonna walk the whole way to, to Pennsylvania, just slam a resume down on my dad's boss's desk. So you're here for the sales position? <laughs> also, there, I, I was just at the border of Arizona and Mexico. There's a wall. I had no idea. I got down there, I saw the wall. I was like, holy shit, he built it? They were like, no, it's been here. It's been here for like a century. 
was like, well, you gotta tell my dad. <laughs> Fuck him up. He gets fired up every night. It's a crazy way to go to bed every night. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> with his apnea mask on. Fucking. <laughs> every night, just fucking caravan. <laughs> Dude, you walk into the living room in my house right now, my dad, he'd hit you. Like, Southern Border is a mess right now. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but I make fun of him for it, and then I, I, I do the exact same thing just with my phone. Every night, I just look at my phone until I can't. I'm like, fucking Mr. Potato Heads? <laughs> That's it, every day. I, I do do that too. I just get on, should, read opinions from people I know are dumb. Like in person, I know they're dumb. I've talked to them. And I'm still reading their Twitter, their political opinions. It's great, and my, my Twitter's crazy. It's, it's half where I'm from, which is the middle of Pennsylvania, so it's, it's white trash. And then half, now, I'll, now I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy. Like all, you know, I still have uncles. They all just got Twitter. They're all fucking fired up. They're having fun, dude. They all have like zero followers. They just tweet into the void. <laughs> they love it, dude. They do it for the love of the game. They're like, Panera was good today. <laughs> just onto a server that'll outlast civilization. <laughs> and then now all my new Panera friends break. are literally communists from Brooklyn. <laughs> So it's wild, dude. My social, like, I'll get, on, I'll get on Twitter and the first tweet I see will be someone from back home that's just like, fucking Colin Kaepernick better stand up. <laughs> like this tweet if you support the police. <laughs> share it if you're not gay. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking I'm share. <laughs> I share that. <laughs> and then the next post is just one of my new woke white friends that's just like, I'm not racist. That's it. <laughs> Every day for the last year, just a different white person popping up. Like, look at me. Look at this article I shared to my Instagram story. I'm not racist, right? <laughs> All right. Are you sure? <laughs> so I don't know if you know this. Like, being racist isn't like a yes or no thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, you're not hungry right now, but a cheeseburger could cut you off on the highway. <laughs> and you get hungry. We're hungry all day. <laughs> The cheeseburger's Jewish in that joke. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The cheeseburger is whatever, whatever type of cheeseburger you thought it was. <laughs> in your racist heart. <laughs> anyway. But that's it, I just get online, read opinions from people. The news, like other news is kind of like, this is the most divided this country has ever been. It's like with the, like the red states and the blue states. It's like, why? Because we tweet at each other? You know we had a war, right? You know this country had a civil war? That was pretty divided. Like, at least nowadays we're communicating with each other. Back then, those guys never, they got the news like once a month. Some guy would come by on a horse and they were like, who's talking shit? Like, I was like, the South is talking shit. <laughs> they were like, fuck that, I don't like that. Give me my gun. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna, walk, I'm gonna walk down there for a month straight. Shoot the first fucking guy I see down there. That's how much. The Civil War was basically just the North just shooting racism out of the South. That's what happened. The North was like, South, fucking chill. And the South was like, no. <laughs> so a bunch of guys had to walk down there and shoot them a lot. And they were like, all right. We'll let them go. <laughs> We're not going to be nice to them for a while. <laughs> Until we find out they're good at football and then roll tide. <laughs> that way <we> it. <laughs> I like that. Hey, roll damn tide. 
<laughs> I don't like uh, I don't like Alabama football. Damn. I, watched, I just watched this documentary on Alabama football. It's great. It's about what well, it's not, I don't know. I don't know if you should say it's great, but <laughs> it's about it's about Alabama football. It's about when they desegregated their football team. So up until this point, Alabama football was just white. All right, and everybody down there was pumped on that. They would pack the Damn. stadium. Everyone would be like, look at all those whites <laughs> running around, catching it. And look, I'm not knocking them too hard because I still have a little bit of that in me. You know, like if a white guy catches a ball on Sunday, I'm like, oh shit, go, 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 go. <laughs> ah, they got him. They got him. It's a tough run, a smart run. It's a tough run there. <laughs> But no, they took it too far. And uh, so the documentary focuses on that. It focuses on Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant, legendary head coach. He was the head coach that brought the first black players onto the team. So the whole documentary is like celebrating Bear Bryant. They're like, fucking way to go, Bear. You did it. What a hero. And then you find out it was 1971. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, a little late for high fives on this one, fellas. Holy shit, 71? Like, we had been to the moon. <laughs> there were literally people on the moon before Alabama had black guys in their secondary. Does anyone understand? There were white corners. White cornerbacks. You understand how preposterous that is? Some of, some of you are too young to have ever even seen a white corner. They're extinct. They don't exist. There, there's two left at the San Diego Zoo. And they won't, they won't reproduce. You'll never see a white corner. But that's what happened. It wasn't like, the reason they desegregated the team, it was, that's what the documentary focuses on, which is great, because it wasn't like, oh, hey, fellas, it's 1971. Maybe we should get with the times. What happened was Alabama scheduled USC, Southern Cal. Alabama was uh -oh. confident. They're like, oh, white boys are, <laughs> we'll take on anybody. And then uh -oh. USC came down to Alabama with a bunch of black dudes from LA, just beat the fuck out of Alabama. <laughs> and then after the game, Bear Bryant gave like a speech and he was like, hey y'all, come on. <laughs> and that was it. That's all it took. Everybody down there was like, yeah, we get it. We'll, we'll, we'll be less racist. If it means we can win. <laughs> what? That's what it is. Like, as big as racism is in America, football. That's true. That's true. Look, the go, there's a Disney movie, Remember the Titans, no, dedicated to what about. I just told you. That's the whole point of that, but dude, that was one high school football season. Remember the Titans was like, it was eight weeks. No. Yeah, you're right. That whole town went from like centuries of like, don't let them in our school, to just like, oh shit, the high school team's 4 0. <laughs> Those are my brothers. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up after the video. Oh, I was like, dang. All right, I'll get off the topic. <laughs> the point, look, hey, the point I'm trying to make. I was gonna start. I was gonna uh, end it good. Okay. Well, you guys, I, I beat Theo to the punch for that one. And what did you think about it so far from what, what we've seen? That's oh, pretty good. Uh, I like the sleep apnea mask. I like to remember the Titans, uh, the whole uh, uh, desegregation of Alabama joke. I love all that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I enjoyed all of it, too. Um, I don't know which one was my favorite, though, so far. It was one that I laughed pretty hard, but I can't remember what it was. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I, I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of curious what else we're going to talk about. <laughs> As always, Shane Gillis, is, is, he's pretty fucking funny. Mm -hmm. I like Shane a lot. So, that, uh, thank you to whoever recommended it. I feel like there's been a couple people that have said so it has doing been. this one. So, we finally give you guys what you want out of our 12 days of Christmas. Deal did, did you hit yourself in the face? I did. <laughs> I was like, did she really slap herself in the nose? It wasn't, it was, no, I hit my chin. Oh, boy, you about. Um, <laughs> really? It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. So, but yeah, oh, y'all, okay. so we gonna be filming for y'all. Um, 
these rest of these days. And within it, um, we will be promoting some companies. So please show your support whenever you see it. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, click on the links and anything along those lines. But are we about to feel some more stuff? Of course. Okay. I yeah, should have jumped back. Know. I should have jumped back into it, but nah. No, nah, I don't got nothing else to add. Y'all comment down below what else y'all want us to react to. Might I might jump on that Daniel Tosh to see how it is. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow though. Peace. Bye y'all.